This daily market report is made just for you by Brad Rock, the first ever needs meshed life insurance that changes as your life changes. Rich nations shouldn't force South Africa to ban new coal-powered projects and impose other conditions as a requirement for funding to help reduce its environmental footprint, the country's energy minister said. Gwede Mantasha last month skipped a meeting with climate envoys from the UK, US, Germany, France and the European Union, where an initial amount of almost $5 billion in concessional loans and grants was discussed. The envoys aimed to reach an emissions reduction deal with South Africa that could be announced at the COP26 climate talks that begin in Glasgow later this month and serve as a model for other countries seeking to transition to green energy. They must not give us conditions. They are developed countries, Montasha said in an interview on Tuesday. We are a developing economy. They must talk to our program. South African steelworkers will continue to strike after rejecting an increased wage offer from employers. An industry body raised its salary increase offer to 6% last week from 4.4%. Talks on Wednesday aimed at reaching an agreement failed, said Lucio Trentini, CEO of the Steel and Engineering Industries Federation of Southern Africa. Discussions are being held on Thursday on a way forward, he said. According to NUMSA Treasurer, NUMSA rejected the pay offer because it came only from one of the four industry associations that the labor union's members belong to. According to the Federation, the strike has cost the industry about 500 million rand in lost output and the work stoppage has also resulted in the loss of about 100 million rand in wages. Three months on, Police Minister Becky Tele says that the South African police are close to cracking the insurrection plot, which the state claims was behind the mid-July riots and looting in KwaZulu-Natal and parts of Gauteng. 18 people have been arrested in connection with the alleged insurrection scheme, with the police minister saying their cases are all at different stages. The government argues that these individuals use their platforms and behind-the-scenes scheming to incite the masses to protest the arrest of former President Jacob Zuma.